Hello, my name is Brian Kirsch. Recently, I gave a talk to a group about some of the dangers of the administration. Uh, and what I mean by that is, it could be a Windows admin, virtual admin, cloud admin, you know, what have you. And I noticed um, people were a little set back by this. So I wanted to kind of record uh, something a little bit more in depth. And actually, let's talk about it because it's something that often simply just gets overlooked, okay? Now, one of the things any sysadmin you have in your company, I don't care if they're doing Windows, email, virtualization, cloud, you name it, they have a tremendous amount of power. And what I mean by that is they have the ability to do their jobs, which is what you, you know, as a company, you entrust people to do. They also have the ability to break a lot and both intentionally and unintentionally. What you're trusting these people to do is staggering when you really think about it. Today's data center and the infrastructure itself is not hardware driven. It's not like behind a locked room, you know, what it used to be. Nowadays, it's a stack of servers, virtualization, up on the cloud, you name it. But now it's a checkbox it becomes easy to just delete. You can delete in a virtual world, you can delete an entire data center and there's no undo. Yes, you might have backups, which can be deleted as well, but realistically, it's kind of a one-shot deal. And the cloud is no different. To delete an environment, it's pretty easy to do. And it could be something that you took months to set up core production and it can be wiped out with one you know checkbox delete done that means you have a lot of responsibility with these people and kind of the funny part about that companies don't always pay them the best and in fact companies may pay them a lot less than what they should get but yet you're, you're trusting them with all of this stuff which really begs a few questions there. There's some real serious debates there. Um, but what do you do about it? I mean, that's gonna be the question mark here is somebody that has that level of ability within your company, that has that ability to truly dictate, just delete your data center. I mean, that's realistically what happens. And that has happened. There are news stories of an admin going rogue and deleting a bunch of virtual machines. You know, they got let go, they got upset, and they just started wiping out a company. You know, we see that with ransomware, but you know, your biggest threats are internal because they have the access to everything. Um, you can't take it away from them either. Cause you know, putting those types of duties or putting those uh, security pieces, in terms of management or you know C-level people means you'll never get the job done. You need these people to be agile. You need them to um, be able to get move your company forward, but you're also trusting them with everything. And like they said, this is the dirty part of this that nobody talks about. Um, your virtual admin, your cloud admin can be your worst nightmare w without a doubt. And if it's the people you, you know, you don't, pay enough or deny the promotions, what have you, you're running a risk. And that's just a fact. Um, that doesn't mean executives should go pay people a lot more money. That doesn't mean virtual admins or cloud ad admins should go demanding a bunch of money. But you have to understand the risks. You have to understand what you're entrusting these people to do and what you're willing to give them to do that. Now, the, the huge majority are always going to do their job, they do it well, and it's never going to be an issue. But you have to accept the fact that there will be one or two that won't. That'll, that'll be an issue. And if, you know, it sounds great that, you know, everybody, you know, somebody else's problem, but it's not. It could easily be your problem. Um, removal of, you know, like virtual machines, cloud environments, uh, removal of hardware. You know, um, you know, an IT admin taking, you know, different hardware home, you know, what have you. That stuff occurs. And it's a really 
fine line between, you know, let's say, oh, I have an extra SSD drive. The company won't miss it versus I just deleted an entire cloud environment because I was upset about something. There is a line there, but it, it progresses really quick. And that's a problem. Now, what does this really mean? Where, where's the impact? What, you know, what can you do? Auditing tools are great. Um, they will alert you to suspicious behavior. And to be honest, everybody should be audited. I don't care if you're the admin, the CEO, what have you. Everything should be audited. Nobody should be excluded from that. Because the moment you do that, you run into the potential for problems. Um, you can put in certain safeguards. Admins, you know, log in with normal credentials unless they do admin duties and things like that. But realistically, the biggest thing you're going to have to really address is making sure you're taking care of them. Majority of people are not malicious by nature. You know, when you hire them, they want to do good work and, and all those things. But people get frustrated and they get frustrated because you, you ask the world of them, and, you know, they don't always get the paycheck and people get frustrated. I mean, majority of people just simply quit and go somewhere else. But some get, you know, that itch, that piece where they, you know, kind of want to screw the company over. You have to understand that can happen. You have to be willing to pay these people a fair wage. Okay, I'm not saying you got to pay them the world, but a fair wage. Make sure they have time away. Make sure they get their vacation time in that. You know, it's more than just keeping your employees happy. It's keeping them engaged, keeping them driven, keeping them challenged, but also appreciating them. Because here's the thing. If your employees truly feel that way, they will bend over backwards to help the company. The moment they feel, I shouldn't say the moment, the when they start to feel like they're being taken advantage of. And if there's a history of it, not just a moment in time, but a history of it, then you start to see that those other possible traits come out. And you need to avoid that. And you should be able to see that. You should be able to see it on the faces of your employees. You should be able to get it from, you know, when you have weekly meetings, monthly meetings, whatever you have, where it's a, it's a health check. Because you're entrusting these people with a lot. You, you know, you're, any company is. And you have to be willing to give a little to make sure you have that solid responsibility. Um, there's not another way around this. You can't audit or restrict them where they can't do their jobs because then they fail and your company fails. So you have to entrust them with this, but you gotta put a wrapper around it as well. You, you can do it with some, with some additional auditing, a few other things, but you gotta let them do their job. And then you got to be willing to be engaged with them and make sure they understand, you know, that there is an appreciation and that they're not simply being taken advantage of. So again, my name is Brian Kirsch. Thank you for watching.